Alright, so I don't know if y'all remember the video where we found this at Pier 1. Look at that price tag. I've had it in the shed, covered up with a tarp for like a long time now, months. And pretty much the only thing wrong with it is just that part right there. Um, I guess I'm going to take this top off and I'm just going to cut all of this trim off around here. Make it a uh, rectangle again so this will be gone. Here's a piece right here. Fell out of it. So while Holly's out here working on a Pier 1 chair, I'm going to be working on a Pier 1 tabletop. Mm -hmm. We need a little wood shop ducks. <laughs> ah, they like hanging out at the shop. Alright, so I put this thing up on my bench over here. I took the drawers out. Looks like the only thing holding this top on is just a few of these screws. It looks like it's actually missing some. That's kind of weird. So I just gotta take these screws out. And I definitely need to tighten all these bolts up because it's kind of, this thing's a little wobbly as you can see. So I got to tighten that up. Get the spider webs off of it because it's been in the shed. So all I got to do is pretty much take them screws out, take that top off, set up the tape. Anyway, here's the top. I can't, I don't know if this is, I guess it is a solid piece of wood. I wish I knew what kind of wood it was. But it's definitely pretty. You can see that this piece is glued together. It's two pieces glued together. You can see that. So, and it looks solid. It looks like some nice wood. I don't know what kind of wood, but it's pretty nice. So, it's definitely solid wood. So, I'm going to cut this off on the table saw and see what we're working with. Whether maybe I need to add some cedar on the edges and make it pretty. I think that might actually look pretty awesome with cedar around it. So I got them two sides clean, ran that long ways on the table saw. Now the safest way to pretty much take these edges off is to get out the table sled. So that's the next step. All right, so Holly. I didn't want to um, interrupt you while you were were talking, but I did have the idea that like these, these are actually really pretty. These didn't get messed up. I like the fluted edges. I think they're cute. And they're in good condition, so what if so you I guess just, we'll just leave. What if you just fix the front and the back and then left the little yeah. food design on the side? Well, that's what I got you for, baby. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to do like she said, just leave these sides on instead of cutting them off. And then I'll just add some pretty cedar in the front and the back. I'm wow. going to want to keep this table. Wow, I think that's going to look <laughs> really freaking nice. Awesome. All right, so here's a piece of cedar I was thinking of using just a couple of strips of this I think that's actually gonna look pretty nice with this other wood looks like it's definitely long enough so I'm gonna run this thing over the joiner get a flat bottom and a flat edge and then I'll run this on the table saw I'm gonna try to make strips perfectly about the same size as these and uh, we're about to have us a, a table.
So that definitely is gonna look different. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good with the clear coat and everything on it. There's definitely some brighter wood, but I'm going with it. So I'm just gonna line that up and make me a mark over here where I want this cut. So this piece right here, it's got all these ridges and they look really nice. So if I put just a straight board on the front, it's just gonna be a straight board and it's gonna have pretty ridges on the side. It's not really gonna match. I wanted to make this simple and just put a straight board on the front and sand it smooth and put a clear coat on it, but the perfectionist in me is thinking I have this old piece from the front that matches that. I'm wondering if I can just trace these and uh, possibly cut this out on the bandsaw. I could possibly work this out, um, but I am going to give it a try. Let's see if I can put these ridges in here that will actually match the sides and that will just make this even more beautiful. Well, I have to say, God definitely blessed me with this one. That turned out a whole lot better than I actually expected it to. I mean, that looks beautiful. It definitely matches the side. Just a different color wood. So now, I have to glue these on, clamp, glue it and clamp it so they'll stay. Alright, we got a few clamps set up that are wood, so we're going to glue this thing together. Definitely want to see that little bit of glue coming out. That's good. That shows we got glue in there squeezing out. Come on, undo that one. Come on, this a little higher. didn't move much that glue is already sticking so once I sand all this stuff it'll be perfectly smooth on the top level
That makes me really, that really makes me want to sand the whole thing. That's so beautiful. Whatever finish they put on there, it literally, it just covers up the beauty. Look at this. Look at this wood grain in here. So all this stain or whatever they put on this thing, it's like, they just covered up the beauty. Look at this. Like, that is just amazing. And then the cedar on here. Wow. Like, wow. Whatever wood this is, I want some of this wood. Well, I'll let that dry overnight. Put this table back tomorrow, together tomorrow, and oh my gosh, it looks gorgeous on top. I can't, dude, this top looks bad. I, I can't even believe that they put this, they put the stain on it when this crane is just so beautiful. I don't understand it. I don't understand why you would want to cover this up with something like that. Like, look at this. I mean, you could, you could tell this is like some beautiful wood. You can tell it's really beautiful wood. But why cover it up with this compared to that? I mean, that is just... So there we go, finished table, top's all fixed, no more uh, crack in the front. I have to say this came out way more beautiful than it was originally. That's cedar and what, what kind of wood you say you thought this was? Mahogany. Holly thinks this is mahogany, but wow, that it did not just turn out freaking beautiful. <clears throat> you can see where my my cuts turned out way better than I expected they look almost pretty much identical to the ones that were already on there except for mine it's beautiful cedar and theirs that they had on there was oak so there we go awesome. here one table fixed <clears throat> we definitely like that price tag. We like that a lot. In a dumpster, as Holly would say, trash the treasure. Dang right. And it's even more beautiful than it was when we found it. Way more beautiful, if you ask me. Yeah. I have no idea why they would put stain like this on wood that is that I was beautiful. sitting over there and I noticed this leg in particular. Look at this, how the grain runs down the leg and up here. It's dark and then it's light. And yeah. Can, I wish you could see. Imagine how nice that it would grain. be. Imagine how nice this thing would be if I sanded the whole thing and finished it like I did the top. But unfortunately, uh, be it wouldn't be worth the. It wouldn't be worth what I'm gonna get out of it to put that much time into it, but. It's a very, very beautiful table. Turned out great. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching me fix up a table and make a top even more beautiful than it was when it was made. So. Yay, Chris. <laughs> See y'all later. Thanks.